my cubs. Father, we commend his soul unto thee. Amen. Come on, Firefly. Come on, girl. No use wasting time with her. We'll look after her when we get this wild dog hunt over. I'm afraid she'll grieve herself to death. No, she won't. She'll forget all about her dead master when she gets good and hungry. Not if I know anything about dogs. There's an awfully nice warm fire in my house. Why don't you come back to the cabin with me? You must be so tired and cold out here all by yourself. You better change your mind and come with me. You took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, hello, Hugo. Listen, Jean, why don't you change your mind and come back to Fairbanks with me? No, thanks, mister. I'm staying here till spring. You don't mind? Sure I mind, because I won't be here. Then I'm going to Nanana for the big ice cream. That's what I really came north to see. Well, come on back on the boat with me and we'll... Bring my dog sled. You're missing a big opportunity when you pass me up. No. Yes, sir. Those furs I'm taking back are going to cash into real money. And uh, I know how to spend it when I've got an incentive. I'm doing all right, thanks. <laughs> Say, how's your book coming? Are you making me the hero? Well, no. I'm afraid you're much too well fed to fit into a story of famine and privation. <laughs> Have you ever really been hungry? Not yet. That's why I'm getting out. It's going to be pretty tough around here if those government hunters fail. Well, I hope they do. I think it's perfectly disgusting luring a lot of half-starved dogs into a blind canyon just to slaughter them. It's not going to be as easy as that. Wild dogs are pretty smart. And if they get that herd of reindeer they're using as bait, there won't be any meat left for the natives. How does it happen you're not on the hunt? Every other man in the village is. I'm not a hunter. I'm a trader. 
So I've gathered. Well, so long, Hugo. So long, Jean. See you in Nana. Hey, get along there. Big call, he come. Sure glad we're getting out of here tomorrow. I'd hate to get caught in that freeze. I don't see how you trappers stand it six months at a time in this ice hole. You stand anything if there's money enough in it. Have a good season? Seventy Arctic pelts. Would have had more if the wolves hadn't robbed my traps. They drive all game south. No food. My people must go south too if they don't kill wolves and wild dogs. There won't be a wolf or a wild dog left in this district by tomorrow. Just wait till they get the scent of the reindeer herd. I'm betting they smell fresh meat already. They got a pack leader that can smell traps too. Swift lightning, he no wolf, he devil. I just a half-breed wolf dog. Cross a dog with a wolf and you get a super dog or a super wolf. But always a killer. Swift lightning, he devil. Might as well fight the wind. Don't pay any attention to this old conjure. When they get in this trap, they won't have a chance. Suppose wild dogs kill our reindeer. That meat would fill our empty mouths. They'll never reach the reindeer. When they get into this canyon, we'll slaughter them. You think that snow wall will stop swift lightning? No, but this will. Now hurry up and get the walls finished. Go on, get out of here. Hurry up. <laughs> Don't get after those dogs, you won't have a reindeer left. 
no cops, I don't. Come back here, you fools! Come back! Come back, you fools! Come back! Come back! Look! For a minute, the had you, Gasson. Not this guy. Let's get out of here before the whole pack comes in. That suits me. The law is not going to be good. The first man to take to it. Blaming you because the traps didn't work. It wasn't our fault. I'll tell him. Wait a minute, you can't tell him anything now. Better get back to the boat before there's trouble. That suits me. I'll try to hold them off. Come on, Connor. Why did you run away and let the wild dogs kill all the reindeer? Eskimos can't buy sweet lightning. White man lies. No good. You no good. You cowards. Eskimo never no good. You run away when we need you. The long mission and the Irish begin to. what I said. I'm not going. I'm staying. Are you crazy? Perhaps. If I came here to write and I'm staying. You little numbskull. Can't you get it into your head that if you don't take this tugboat, that you'll be stuck here for another month? Maybe longer if the bay freezes over. Well, that suits me perfectly. I came here for adventure. Hmm. It's no adventure to be hungry. These people are on the point of starvation. Oh, come, come, Gaston. Don't you think you're inclined to be a little dramatic? And besides, I think I'll get to know these people much better if I starve with them. Look, I know you're very noble and very brave. But I haven't any time to waste on fools. Oh, then why do you concern yourself? Only because you're a white woman. I suppose you think it'd be fun to have a flock of wild dogs and wolves chasing you. I suppose you think it'd be fun to have that pack that slaughtered the reindeer this morning come howling around here waiting to tear you to pieces the minute you step outside of this cabin. I'm not afraid. You're going with your life. Hey, hey, you put me down! I got trouble enough without having you on my hand. Well, that's that. Uh, it looks like we missed the boat. Remember, if things get tough, you asked for it. You can take it. And like it. I hate hunters. Me too. Winky, when will you stop that? You're tearing up all my work. Now, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now, look at this. What am I going to do with you, huh? I hate to leave that collie dog here. The wolves will get her sure. Well, what about Miss Williams? See, haven't you got any romance in your soul? You know, she and Firefly are quite a bit alike. Both beautiful, both raised in civilization, surrounded by comfort, and both about half cracked. What do you mean, half cracked? Well, the dog can't bring her master back to life by lying near his grave, but she still insists on staying. And Miss Williams doesn't have to face cold and hunger either. Uh, but I guess all writers are kind of crazy. She'll be all right with Gaston Rods to keep an eye on her. He knows his way around up here. Yeah, that's what I'm worrying about. He's not her kind of man. Why, he's half wolf himself. Me 
go. No meat. Starve. Nutka, don't be silly. There's plenty of food, enough to last till spring. Not last when wolves and wild dogs come. They come in here and eat it all. Me too, maybe. Me go. Whole village go. Gaston, it's a good morning, isn't it? Did you ever see anything so beautiful? What's so beautiful about being left in a deserted village 400 miles from civilization? Well, you're staying, aren't you? That's my tough luck. It would serve you right if I were to leave you here for the wild dogs. No, I suppose I'll have to give up my trapping and take you south. Oh, no. No, no, that won't be necessary. If it had any sense, you'd have gone on that boat. There's no game here, and no game means no food. I wish you'd mind. Oh, shut up and get ready. We're going to travel and travel fast. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself, if you don't mind. All right, I'll wait until tomorrow morning. Think it over. Looks like goodbye. It's no use trying to drag you away from here. You just died of a broken heart anyway. Keep your chin up. Two little villains, I'd like to box your ears. You wait and see what happens to you. Hey, 
change your mind? It's a woman's privilege, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't know about that. Say, did you hear those wolves howling last night? Come now, don't tell me you were frightened. Oh, you couldn't hire me to spend another night in this place. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not going to take all that luggage and those animals, too. What do you think this is, a traveling circus? Well, you surely don't expect me to leave them behind for the wolves. I'll fix that. Can't you think of anything but killing? Weren't you satisfied when you killed their mother? All right, bring along your menagerie. But they'll have to walk. Going to be a tough winter. That's what Gaston tells me. Looks like you're going to have to fly, Winky. Come on. Go on, get out. Go on, get out of here, you pest. Uh -huh. right. For the love of Mike, give me a hand, will you? This rate we'll never get to Fairbanks. Fairbanks? I'm not going to Fairbanks. I'm going to Nanana to see the big ice break up. Say, what do you think this is? A sightseeing tour? I can get more money for my furs in Fairbanks, and Fairbanks we go. Oh, no. I got cheated out of my stay here, and I'm not going to miss the ice sweep today. All right, Nanana, then. But after we get there, if I'm unlucky enough to ever see you again, don't speak to me. I'd rather choke. All right, hop aboard. All right, mush!
morning, Miss Williams. And how do you like our gloriously beautiful Northland today? Thrilling, isn't it? Yes, isn't it? Ripping. Begging your pardon, madame. Breakfast. Thank you. Goody, goody. Wish I could say the same. I, uh, trust our beds were quite to your liking. Well, it is. Up for breaking camp. Why, Winky, what on earth have you got there? Firefly! What are you doing here? Come on, Firefly, come here. Come on, Firefly. Come on, that's it. Come on. Come on, girl. Drop that! Drop that! Eating that stray dog when you know we're traveling on short rations. Firefly isn't a stray dog. All right, she isn't a stray dog. What is she good for? Can she work? Can she pull a sled? Whether she pulls a sled or not, I'm not going to let her go hungry while I have food. All right, that was your breakfast and your dinner, too. I don't care. I don't like it anyway. Well, I'll remind you of that tonight. Come on, give me a hand and load this sled.
Now she won't be lonesome anymore. That's no dog, that's Swift Lightning. Wolf breed and leader of the pack. <laughs> well, we won't be bothered with that collie much longer. When a wolf mates with a dog and he tires of her, he just turns on her and eats her. Oh, I don't think Swift Lightning is a wolf. He looks tame enough to me. You should have seen your little house pet running with the wild dogs, slaughtering the reindeer. <laughs> Probably following our sled right now, hoping to get us. Oh, I think he and Firefly are just lonesome. She'll probably make a gentleman of him. Or he'll make a wolf out of her. I won't hurt you. In another minute, he'd had you by the throat. He dug me out of the snow. If you hadn't frightened him, we would have been friends. <laughs> oh, there's the pest again. He probably started this avalanche in the first place. I'm sorry. Might as well salvage what we can. <laughs> At least we've got our dog team. I'll be in a fine fix without a gun. Well, at least we saved some of our food. Nana's a long way off yet. He didn't salvage enough food to feed a canary. Well, I don't eat much. No, but the sled dogs do. They can't travel far on empty stomachs. You thought it would be an adventure to be really hungry, didn't you? Now you're gonna get a chance to see how you like it.
Stretch it good and tight. Don't worry, when that ice breaks, he'll snap like a fiddle string. Yeah, but she won't break up for another week yet. Uh, you remember last year? Yeah. Yeah, but that was last year. Look at that sun. Yeah, but that's been like that for a week now. No, sir, my money says next week. Well, let's quit talking about it and go by our chances. I'll take uh, April oh, Sorry, 2nd. stranger. You'll have to take your turn. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Yeah. Hi, you oh, go. Bill. <laughs> hey, you. How are you betting? Well, from the looks of that river, I'd say the break's coming any time now. I'm guessing sometime tomorrow. I bet you $100 you've been wrong by 24 hours. You're right, Smith. You'll go here the whole stay. Oh, sure. Right. What time have you got, Joe? It's 3.46 and a half. 3.46 and a half. What day? Huh? What day? Tomorrow? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, tomorrow. 2.30 p.m. Tuesday. 2.30 p.m. Tuesday. Uh, April 2nd, uh, 5.15 p.m. That's today. That's what I said. Yeah. What's the name? Hugo Henderson. Hugo Henderson. Uh, put me down for April 3rd, uh, 2.31 p.m. April 3rd, 2.31 p.m. I want uh, April 7, uh, 1.54 in the afternoon. Come on, boys, I'll buy you a drink. Oh, swell. Did you get anywhere near Topek Village on your last trip, Bill? Well, an Eskimo told me the whole village moved south to get away from the wild dogs and the wolves. Uh, did he say anything about a white woman that was up there? Well, that's a white woman doing a topic. <laughs> Writing a book. Aquavit. Aquavit. Uh, whiskey, Bill. I get two. She expected to make Nanana for the big ice break, and uh, I'd uh, kind of hoped I'd meet her here. She ain't crazy enough to try to make that trip alone, is she? No. Rogers will probably be with her. Oh, well, she's with Gaston. She'll be all right. Yeah, that's what you think. <laughs> I get it. Good luck. the looks of this ice. See, the river's the shortest way to Nanana, and it holds we might be able to make it without skipping too many meals. Oh, let's take a chance. It would be heaven to eat a square meal and sleep in a real bed for a change. Hey, get out of there! Get out of there! by sled. We'll have to loosen the dogs. Get the knife! In the bag and hurry! 
Here it is. Look! We'll have to make a run for it. You never make it. You drown. I can't leave you here to starve. You don't seem to realize what we're up against. Oh, yes, I do, Gaston. I do realize. And I'm so ashamed. It's all my fault. Gaston, I've got to tell you that... Well, no matter what happens, I, I just want you to know that... Oh, forget it. No, Gaston. I'll never forget it. These days together, the, the hardships we've been through, they taught me something. Something of loyalty and courage. I know what I was doing, the chances I was making you take. And now you've lost your furs and dogs, everything. Not everything. See, I've traveled alone so much that I... I didn't know a woman could show so much courage. Then you don't hate me. Say it. I do. Why, it's Firefly. How in the world did she get here? Call her over. Come on, Firefly. Come on. Come on, Firefly. Come on. We aren't going to hurt you. Poor little thing, she's just as cold and hungry as we are. Firefly. Come here. Come on, old girl. That's it. Come on, baby. How are you? Come on. Oh, no, Gaston. No, you can't. We've got to eat, don't we? <laughs> Food. It's his life or ours. But he was only protecting his mate. If you so much as even touch him a firefly, I'll never forgive you, never. Jean! Jean! Come back here! Thank <laughs> you. 
Ведешь, а? At least we won't starve. Oh, no. Dean, you've been so swell. Don't crack up now. No, yes. Gaston Rogers sled down on the riverbank. Where? A couple of miles downstream. Any sign of Gaston and the girl with him? No, the sled was empty. I searched up and down the riverbank by half a mile. Get out dog sleds and look for them. Listen, right. everybody, I'll pay a $500 reward to anyone who finds Gene Williams. Come on, you fellow. Come on, you Now fly up the river, but fly low and keep your eyes open. Good luck, Ed. Dogs just made it to shore. You want to take a chance? Well, anything's better than staying here. Follow me. Turning back. The pests again. I'm glad nothing happened to them. Well, it looks like your friends got rid of what food was left. There's no use in us staying here. 
Well, you better not try to go any further without food. The note said they'd send help here to the cabin. I think you better wait. I'll be all right. Jean, are you afraid of me? No, I'm not afraid of you. What's the matter? Well, can't you see it's just impossible? You despise me, don't you? No, Gaston, I don't despise you. I'm very grateful for everything you've done. Well, I'm not asking you to be grateful. Back there, you said you loved me. I didn't say that. But it's a different story now, isn't it? The other night you talked about loyalty and courage. But that was when you needed me. Stop it. Now that you're getting back to civilization, I'm not good enough for you. I'm a brute and a killer, and I don't fit in with your ideas. And the things I do shock that sensitive nature of yours, don't they? Don't they? If you'll let go of me, I'd like to leave here. Of course you would, but you're not leaving. You're staying here with me. I'm so glad to see anyone. Same here. Hello, Hugo. Hi, Gaston. Got a cigarette? Sure. <laughs> By the way, how far is it to Nana and a good square meal? About 20 miles. We're in no hurry. Oh, I am. Let's get started. We can't get there too soon to suit me. Looks like the dog I saw you feeding at the game warden's grave. It is. It's Firefly. She followed us all the way down here. Brought along a wolf dog for protection. Well, she won't need him anymore. We'll take her along with us. Come on, Buck. Come on, boy. Hugo, I'd keep my dog away from Swift Lightning if I were you. Buck can take care of himself. You better call him back, Hugo. Come back here, Buck. Come on back here, I say. Collie's too good to run with a wolf dog. You stay here, Buck. I'll bring her back to you. Storm coming. That's what I'm afraid of. I think we'd better get started. Come on, Firefly. There you are. There's some food for you. Good girl. Yes, that a girl. <laughs> there we are. That's a nice girl. Come on. Come on, Firefly. <laughs> uh, they'll make a great pair. Come on, Buck. We'll start back with your new sweetheart. Better wait till the storm blows over. You know, I think he's right at that. It does look pretty bad. We'd better stay, Gene. It's the finest meal I've eaten since I left Seattle. You eat Fairbanks. Aren't you going to eat there? Not hungry. Well, I shouldn't be, but I am. went back to its mate after all. I'll bet you a hundred she comes back to Buck. You know, Gene, those furs of mine ran into a lot of money. When we get back to Fairbanks, the town is yours. 
The only place I want to get back to is Seattle. Oh, that suits me. I've had enough of this country, too. You know, it'd be pretty raw if the collie were to quit swift lightning now. He won her. Why should he give her up? Because he's not her kind, and the lady knows it. He's a wolf dog, and she's a thoroughbred. Buck isn't her breed either. Like we're stuck here for the night. I guess a good night's rest won't hurt you, Gene. We'll start out the first thing in the morning. Gene isn't going any place with you. <coughs> I think that's up to her, isn't it? She hasn't got anything to say about it. Oh, really? He's staying right here with me. Say, listen, you. Now, please, Gaston, let's not have it. And I appreciate everything you've done for me. I'll always be grateful. Seems to me I've heard those words before. But you're not walking out on me with just a thank you. I'll pay you for the furs you lost as soon as I get the money. Sure, sure. We'll settle it up right now. Here, here's $500. Now get out. You're the one that's getting out of here. He's gone. Yes, he, he's gone. You've had a tough time of it, kid. But that's all over. From now on, it's going to be just you and me. No, Hugo. Well, what do you mean, no? Didn't I fight for you? Sure, I, I got licked, but, but I fought for you, didn't I? Yes, you both fought for me, like animals. Like a couple of dogs would fight over a bone. I mean, I think those dogs out there in the woods act more like humans than you two. Oh, well, now, wait a minute, Jean. No, Hugo, I don't want that kind of love. I want tenderness and devotion and respect. All that's foreign up here. It's just fight and blood and kill. Something's wrong. She's trying to tell us about it. Thank <laughs> you. 
dead? No, but he was badly crushed. Might have a little limp, but we had a close call. The storm's over. We better get started. Swift Lightning won't be able to travel for a while. I'm staying here with him. And I'm staying here with you. Huh? I never did like Seattle anyway. I don't know whether you're a quitter or a smart guy. 